Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and we've got a line on the screen here in Affinity Designer 2. And what we want to know is if it's possible to have different thicknesses at the end of this line, and we can. We just go into pressure. So if I want it so that it's uh, fat in the middle and thin at the ends, I can put one marker there and then get this here and then bring this down. And that makes it so that it is um, the same thickness at either end. If I want to do it so that it's going to be a different thickness at one end and so for instance fat at one end and thin at the other then what I can do is I can do option and hold down option while I move that and put that up there and then I can get this here and have a straight line in between the two so I've got a standard sort of uh, change of thickness in between the start and the finish of it. Let's do a reset again. So another way to do this here so if I've got the one in the middle there still and then I want to change this so what you do is you click on that d square there until you lose the dot in the center of it. So now I've got rid of the dot there. I can move that independent of the one that's at the other end of the pressure line. If you've got a little dot in there, it'll stay the same on both sides. If it hasn't got the dot in there in the middle, I can move that down and then I've got a thin at the front and a fat at the end. So that's how you make changes into the shape of your stroke when you're working in Affinity Designer 2. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're thinking about it.